I want to give you a quick bite about cooking with different oils. There are so many different oils of fats as I call them because that's exactly what they are. It gets confusing on what oils to use when. I'm going to review some of my fats that I use most often. Butter, ghee, canola oil, olive oil, sesame oil, and avocado oil. Now let's start with butter because obviously, butter gives the food a rich flavor and helps the food to brown. I use butter when baking and eating fresh like on bread and when roasting a chicken to ensure that it browns and the breast stays nice and juicy. Ghee is kind of like a super clarified butter and clarified butter is the same butter that you use for seafood. Now ghee can withhold higher temperatures while butter starts to burn. So you can use ghee to saute in ways that you would any other liquid oil. I like to use ghee when I'm cooking Indian dishes to feel more authentic. The last time I went to India, my friend's family invited me over and they made this spicy ochre dish. It was so delicious, I could have finished the entire platter by myself. But I found some restraint and found the recipe, so now I can enjoy it as much as I want. Canola oil has a neutral flavor, which means that you can use it for almost anything, and there's no unique taste that the oil will bring to the dish. Butter and ghee are higher in saturated fat and should be used sparingly. But canola oil is a good source of monounsaturated fats and can be used regularly. It can handle high heat, which is great for stir fries and your everyday cooking. Now, olive oil is a good source of polyunsaturated fats. Mono and polyunsaturated fats are better for your heart. So I use olive oil and canola oil in most of my everyday cooking. Olive oil will burn easily, so it's not best for stir fries, but it's great for roasting vegetables. Sometimes I'll mix olive oil and butter so I can get the health benefits of the olive oil, but get the flavor from the butter. Extra virgin olive oil is less refined olive oil and can be used on salads to make a salad dressing. So just like wine, olive oil can have different profiles of fruitiness and earthiness, and you can try out some artisanal oils to determine your favorite for dipping in bread or eating without heating, like in a salad. Sesame oil and avocado oil have a distinct flavor, so you don't want to use it in baking. Sprinkle sesame oil on dishes to finish it after the cooking process. Only drizzle a teaspoon at a time because its flavor is very potent. And remember that you can always add on more, but you can't take it away. You can use avocado oil as a replacement for olive oil. It works the same way, but only with a slight avocado taste. So just remember that different fats are used for different reasons and have different tastes. So for this quick bite, try a new fat to cook with and you might find a new favorite.